Hi, we are going to talk about mental math for square roots and cube roots. Do you know what? Be impressed with yourself if you're trying to do this mental math. It's awesome. Um, really not as hard as you think. I know it sounds intimidating, but no worries. You can do this. It's not that hard. Um, so here are some driving, um, what, helpful hints to help, um, to assist you. So first, square root, um, square roots, um, is the exponents must be even, okay? So if you're taking a square root, make sure that the scientific uh, notation it has to be an even number. Now cube roots, a little bit different. If you're doing a cube root, the exponent has to be a factor of three, has to be a factor of three. Now where this comes from, when you square something and you multiply that base 10, you add the um, exponents. Um, so when we do the square root, when I take the square root of it, you just take the exponent and divide it by two. Um, same principle, when you take the cube root, you divide it by three. So it is infinitely easier to manipulate and change the scientific notation so that square roots are always even, cube roots have to be a multiple of three. And you'll see me, you'll see me do this. Um, have your basic squares and cube roots and cubes memorized um, because you're going to need those. Uh, so you guys know one, two, four, eight, square of two is four, cube of uh, two is eight, and I went all the way down to 10. Um, I have seen, what have I seen? I have seen as high as eight, and I've only seen that once on an AP test where um, by doing the uh, cube root, it got up to 500, the 500 level. Um, most of the time it doesn't go past five. So if you have up through five, good to go. And that's easy. Um, square and cubes up through five, really easy. Uh, it is good, a life thing. Don't spend time, a lot of time memorizing this, um, but you know, even be able to figure it out. Okay, so know your basic squares and cubes. Um, next, estimate on the base. So it's going to be this number that I'm talking about, the base. Estimate on that, really, the crucial part of the answer is the exponent because it's showing the place value. Um, so the exponent is the most important part of your answer. Let me say that again. The exponent is the most important part of your answer. And honestly, exponent is the easy part of the answer. So I have four examples here. What, I'm, uh, what I've done is um, I've taken a number equal to a square and then that same number equal to a cube. So you can see how I, I treat them just a little bit differently. Okay, so we've got 4.1 times 10 to the minus seven and I wanna solve for x. Right now that equals x squared. I know I have to take the square root. Um, so squares, I have to have an even number because I'm going to take that exponent and divide it by two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move this decimal one place. Now I always move to the right because I do not like doing squares and decimals at the same time. My, it's just too much for my brain, I'll be honest. So I rig this to make it easy for me because these are usually multiple choice questions. You've got 90 seconds, you wanna make it easy and fast. So I'm going to move that decimal and it's going to become 10 to the minus eight equals x squared. So now I take the square root. Okay, I'm thinking, what's the square root of 40? Get as close to it as you can. So I know six times six is 36. So um, I know seven times seven is 49, but that overshoots it. You always go less than, okay? You never over overshoot it, you always go less than. So um, it's going to be six point something, okay? Square root of 40 is going to be six point something because I know six times six is 36 times, here's the easy part, you just take that exponent and divide it by two times 10 to the minus four. Now, take just a second, I want you to go backwards. What if this whole thing was squared? If I squared that, it would be 36, six times six, and then remember, add exponents, 10 to the minus four times 10 to the minus four is minus four plus minus four is times two, 10 to the minus eight. So you can see how close we are. You can see how close we are. Um, so your answer on this is going to be six times 10 to the minus four. And no worries, your um, professor, the AP test, they will be fair. They wouldn't give anything, ex like they wouldn't do seven times 10 to the minus four, or five times 10 to the minus four. No, it'd be something like three times 10 to the minus three, or five times 10 to the minus seven. And you'll know, oh no, I'm at the 10 to the minus four uh, placeholder. Uh, the actual value on this is 6.4 times 10 to the minus four. So man, we got really close, really close. Now, if I had to cube root this, okay? So I have x cubed. And, um, this you see a lot in ice tables when we're doing our equilibrium uh, for acid bases. This you see in ice tables for KSP. 
um, that we could get that x cubed. So I want to cube root this, but here's the deal. The exponent has to be a factor of three. It has to be a multiple of three that I could divide three by it. Um, so I'm looking at this and if I do a negative six, it would be 0 0.41. I don't know what the cube root of 0 0.41 is. Um, whole numbers are so much easier for my brain. So I'm going to move the decimal actually two places to get 410 times 10 to the minus nine because three is divisible, or because nine is divisible by three. Three will go into that. Um, so you've got to move the decimal so you can get an exponent that is divisible by three. So we're going to do the cube root. Remember, cube root is just the same thing as saying x raised to the one third. One third times three is one. Anyway, just a little reminder on that. Um, take the cube root here. Okay, so I'm thinking, what is a cube that gets me up to 410. So I know seven times seven is 49 times seven. And this is honestly how I do it. I'm like, well, 49 is really close to 50. Seven times 50 is 350. I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be a seven. Because remember, eight times eight is 64. Eight times 60 is going to be 480. That's greater than this. So I know it's going to be seven something. And remember, I always go lower. I do the cube root below just right below it. So it's gonna be seven times, now, minus nine, just divided by three, minus three. And that's going to be my estimate. There's my estimate. The actual value on this is 7.4 times 10 to the minus three. And you can see how crazy close we are because the exponent is the most important part. Um, and multiple choice, you'd be able to get that easy. You'd be, you'd be really close to, um, to that value. You would be able to see the answer quickly. Okay, let's do another example. I have, uh, now I did a, a tens place here, 22, because sometimes when you're doing your mental math, you're going to end up with something other than a ones place. It's fine, not a big deal. Remember, you're focusing on that exponent. So I'm gonna have 22 times 10 to the minus 14 equals x squared. Uh, this is nice, it's an even number. So I can take the square root right away, square root. Okay, square root of 22. 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. So remember, I always go to the lower one. This is going to be 4 point something, because I'm not quite at that 5 um, being cubed. Times, and then you just half the exponent. Times 10 to the minus 7, take half of 14. Is that negative 14? The actual answer on this is 4.69 times 10 to the minus 7. Again, crazy close. It's awesome. You're doing so good. Now, a cube root. Okay, so cube root, I need this number to be divisible by three. I'm at minus 14, um, so I'm just going to move the decimal to make it 10 to the minus 15, because that's divisible by three. So I move my decimal in one place, we'll get 220 times 10 to the minus 15 equals x cubed. Let's take the cube root of both sides. Okay, so I start going through my um, cubes. I know five times five times five, five cubed is 125. So then I go to six. Okay, six times six is 36 times six. This one I have to have memorized is um, 216. If I didn't have it memorized, I'd say, okay, 30 times six is 180. Six times six is 36. 180 plus 36 is 216. I'm like, oh, okay, we're really close. This is going to be six, almost on the nose, okay? Because 216, cube root of that is six. We're going to be close. And then I simply divide minus 15 by three. So times 10 to the minus five. So that would be my estimate. The actual on this, oh, really close. This is our, this would be the winner. This would be the price is right winner right here. 6.04 times 10 to the minus five. I hope you enjoyed that price is right reference. Hopefully you know what it is. Um, okay, so that is how you do mental math on square roots and cube roots. The key is the exponent for squares. It's gotta be even. For cubes, it has to be a multiple of three. And from there, you're great. All right, good work. If you have other questions on mental math, look under basics um, for the playlist. Okay, have a really good day. Good work. Thanks.